Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. How are you guys? We have so much fun stuff planned tonight, and I have um, some brand new product to show you guys. I cannot wait to show you guys this product. Um, but before we get into that, I have some other exciting um, products to show you guys. So um, you all love this magnet, and I was able to get more of them. So if you need another BAM magnet, now is your chance to grab one. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the BAM in action. And I'm going to just use one of the um, Cordoza Christmas gel polishes. How's everybody doing tonight? I almost went live last night at like uh, 10 o'clock. And then I decided mm, that might be a little bit late for people. So I thought we would do it today at 4 o'clock. So this is one of the colors from the um, Christmas box. And I just want to show you. So this is a cat eye gel color. This is the giant magnet. And watch how well this works. Like You can get effortless. Um, you don't even have to try. Like Look how well that works. Is that not absolutely amazing. Come over here and do it on this side. You cannot go wrong with this magnet. This magnet works so, so, so stinking good. Um, everybody that got a Christmas box has absolutely loved this magnet. Um, it will take your cat eyes like next level, like no doubt about it. Um, it will definitely take your cat eyes next level. So, you are struggling with cat eyes. You think your cat eyes are mm, meh. Maybe you just need a better magnet. So that is the BAM. Um, we deemed it the big ass magnet is what we call it. But um, we keep it G-rated on the website. So we call it the BAM big magnet. But you all know what it means. So that is the BAM. What's everybody doing tonight? Anybody doing anything fun other than watching the video? I do have, um, I'm going to be showing quite a few of the colors from the um, Advent box. And so I know there are some of you that did not get the Advent box that really wanted the Advent box. Um, I dropped the price down to $149.99. So if you want an Advent box, I do have... Um, just a handful left of them. I did drop them down um, 40 bucks. So it's an amazing deal um, for the amount of gel polish you get. You get 12 of these gel polishes. Um, if I were to retail these, I would retail them at 20 bucks a piece. Um, they are very, very high quality. So just the gel polish alone that you get is well over um, the price that you're going to pay for the box. So just wanted to pop that on there. I know, Nikki, it didn't. Oh my gosh, it didn't get here uh, until yesterday. It um, they didn't deliver it to my house because they said that it wasn't. Um, so that is the bam in action. They um, didn't think it was Cordoza Nail Supply because we just moved, and so they held it and wouldn't deliver it. I'm like, no, that's the address. Like, deliver it. What are you doing? I was so mad, but I guess it just was, it was just not meant to be then. So I cannot wait for you to get it. You're going to absolutely love it, Nikki. Okay. Do you guys want to see the other new stuff before I just, um, popped up on, um, I got more of the BAM magnets too, Nikki. I was just showing them the magnets. I know you love the BAM magnet. Did you get yours back or are you still in trouble from it? Did you ever get your um your magnet back? I gotta grab something real quick. I almost forgot. What are you guys doing tonight? Anybody doing anything fun? Other than hanging out? I totally almost forgot to um I got 
put these name stickers on really quick because I want you guys to be able to uh, see the names of the pro of the um, product. I'm just a hot mess over here, apparently. Story of my life. Okay, wait until you see the names of these products, you guys. You're going to love them. Okay, I got the names of those. I got so much fun stuff to show you guys. Yay, you got it back. Okay. Let me see what else I got here. Oh, I forgot. I have mini mandrels in stock. Um, if you need a mini mandrel, these ones are really good. They come with the mandrel and then you get um, 25, I think there's, I think it's 25 um, of the little bits. And I love the zebra ones. I don't know about you guys, but these are the medium grit. I absolutely love, love, love the um, medium grit ones. So those are the medium grit Nice little combo there. Feel free to tag your friends in the video. Um, we also did get our lint-free wipes restocked. So for anybody um, who is like always looking for good lint-free wipes, we have really, really good. Um, these are our lint-free wipes. They truly are lint-free. Um, I have looked and looked and looked. Um, to make sure that I found like truly lint-free wipes and these are truly lint-free wipes. Um, so those are available. I know there were lots and lots of people who were waiting on these. I finally got them back. I apologize. Um, with the move, it was just like totally, totally chaotic. But anyways, I am going to... Um, Nikki, can you try to tag everyone in the Facebook? Are you on the are you on the Facebook page or are you on the app? Which one are you on? I'm gonna see if it'll let me. I'm gonna see if it'll let me um, tag everybody. Facebook. Oh, can you tag, can you to do like a tag at everyone? It might let me do it. I'm not sure. I'm going to try. Thank you, Nikki. Nikki's got my back. Ooh, hi, Cheryl. How are you? I haven't heard from you in forever. Did you love your Advent box? I hope you did. I hope you loved it. Long John Silvers. We don't have a Long John Silvers um, anywhere near me, so I have never actually ate there before. Okay, are you guys ready to see the new fluffy brush? Nikki, hold your horses. Look at this. Megan, if you're on here, um, you were telling me about this really awesome brush that you just had to have, um, and you can never find it again. I am pretty sure I found it. So this is our fluffy brush. Um, it is just a shorter black handle. So that's what I really like about it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a really short handle. It's not like super, super short. Um, but it, I feel like it's just a really good length on the handle. And then it's majorly fluffy. Like this is going to work amazing for pigments, um, as well as for glitters. So this is our CNS fluffy brush. And it's just wait, wait till you see it with the, the colors. Okay. Are you ready for the color? Are you ready to see this new pigment? Hold your horses. Okay. Are you ready, Nikki? This one is called 
Get Out the Hay. So this one is called Get Out the Hay. Look how cute this packaging is. Um, so these look like little like crystal diamonds, like crystal diamond dishes. Um, how cute would that be sitting on your desk? Like literally the cutest. Um, what's also really awesome is the lid is a magnifying glass. So the lid is a mag will magnify, um, which I think is like super, super awesome too. But look at this. So this product is the coolest. Um, it's color shifting, but it shifts as you can see. It's extremely vibrant. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that in the video or not. Um, but it, this one is like, has like a pink and purple shift. Um, but it still will pull the color that it is, um, a little bit. So I'm going to show you guys how to use it, but, um, it is also, it's, it's almost like a glitter, um, consistency, but a, or sorry, it's, it's almost like a glitter sparkle, but a pigment consistency. It's really, really crazy. I have not seen a pigment like this. Um, so it's very similar to a flaky, but it doesn't have a flake. So if you look at this really close, there's no flake. I mean, there, there's like a, it's, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like a finely ground flake. It gives you the most amazing, um, Oh yeah. Use it on your white stamping gel. Yes. Um, it gives you the most amazing color and there's so many different ways that you can use it. So I'm going to show you guys a couple different ways you can use it. Um, first I'm just going to pop through and show you the different colors. So this one is called get out the hay. How do you guys like these? Um, the jars they are in, I, um, am so happy because I, um, picked the jaw, like the whole thing. Like I designed this whole thing. So this is not something I just like went online and ordered. I, um, did picked out the cap and the jar and everything. So I'm like very excited about it. Um, yes, the jars are like super sturdy. You're not going to tip them over. They're heavy. Um, and then I really debated, look at, you can really see the color this way. Um, I really, really debated about this, um, and I decided to go without any labels. So I was going to put my label right in here um, just because that way you guys would know, like, the name of it and where you got it. I tried it, and it totally just, I feel like it just took away from the, like, aesthetic of the jar. Like, this is such a clean and, like, expensive, classy-looking jar, um, that I felt like the sticker on it just diminished that and I didn't want to do that. So, um, they come with, um, they come with the outside named. So if you want to just keep them in their little packaging, um, then you know what color it is, but I just didn't want to take away from the jar because it was so beautiful. Um, I have tiny clear stickers, but they didn't, it didn't show up, Nikki. I have the little clear stickers. Um, and it still just didn't, I don't know. It just didn't look good. So I'm going like this, but you can keep it in your little thing. And it says, get out the hay. So that's how I labeled them. Um, just because they're, they're so stinking cute. Anyways. Um, oops. So there is that one. That one is called Get Out the Hay. How do you like that one, Nikki? And look, it goes, look, it's like a purple and hot pink, but then it's also like the yellowy orange. I think the name is perfect for that one. Hi, Geneva. How are you? Okay. Are you ready for the next one? Okay. This is probably my most favorite one. This one is called Buckle Bunny. <laughs> um, and look how cute this one is. Look at that color. Like, look at the sparkle on that. I know I'm doing this, like, I'm doing this product no justice, honestly. I cannot wait for you guys to get this 
and like see what you guys do with it. Look at that. Look at how like sparkly that is. I can't even, like I can't even like handle how, how pretty these are. So this one's like a blue, but then it goes the purple, the pink, almost has a gold. Like literally every angle, it's different. Look at that. I'm like so mesmerized just by just by the way it looks. Um, and so if you get the four pack tonight, so if you get the four set piece set, you're going to get a free little fluffy brush with it. So that's the deal I'm doing tonight. And look how cute these will look on your desk. And then don't forget you can um, flip them over. Look at that. So that's like what I was saying. Like look how cool that looks. It's like not, I've never seen anything like this. Like I'm telling you guys, the video is not doing this any justice. When you get this, you're going to be like, what is this? Um, it is the most like sparkliest pigment ever. I have not seen a sparklier pigment than that. Okay. So that one was Buffle Bunny. How do you guys like the names? I hope you guys like are enjoying the country western names. Okay. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. Look at this one, you guys. I think this is my ultimate favorite one. We haven't even put these on nails yet. Um, this one is called Punchy. And um, yeah, it's pretty punchy. Look at that bright, 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 bright pink. Um, when you rotate this one, you get like the gold and purple effect. This one is absolutely amazing. Um, I'm going to try to get in here so you can see like the consistency of it. It's, it's literally like snow. Like that's the best way that I can describe this. It's like a fluffy snow. I, I've not seen a pigment like this before. Um, it, it almost it almost reminds me of a glitter and a pigment mixed like combined, but it's not. Like it's like the sparkle of a glitter, but it is like not a glitter whatsoever. You'll see when I apply it on the nail. Like it it doesn't apply like glitter whatsoever. I will get to um I will get to put it in on a nail. I'll grab the cranberry color and show it to you on top of that. And then are you guys ready for the last one? This one is called Cactus Cuddler. Um, so this one is the green. And this one is called Cactus Cuddler. I try to rotate them so you guys can see the sparkle on it. I don't know. Is the video even picking it up? I hope it is. How is the clarity of the video? I feel like I don't need to ask that question because it's probably good just because we're not in our brick building anymore. Um, yes, it's good. Perfect. Yay. I never thought that day would come. What do you guys think of Cactus Cuddler? And then look how stinking cute. So look at these on your desk. How stinking cute. My camera's too close, but um, so adorable. So that is what they look like in their jars. And then now we're going to get to play in. Thank you, Cheryl. Okay, so this is one. I put it on top of green. I was just kind of playing around with it. Um, but I'm going to do it for you guys and show it to you. And then I also um, do not let me forget. I have the 
stamp to show you guys. I have the stamp. So I will do some stamping as well with our new um, Squishmallow stamper. So this is our new little Squishmallow stamper, which I love because it has an open back. Um, so you can see really good through it. It's not like having a, another glass right here. That's like a hollow thing. So I love that about it. Okay. We're going to get down to um, putting these on top of things. So I wanted to do, I'm going to just grab the, the um, can you guys still hear me? I grabbed a couple of the EGN colors and I'm going to do them over that. And then also I'm going to do um, them on top of white. I have a bunch of ideas to show you guys. So is it raining where you guys are at? Is it raining for anybody? It's been raining here all day long. Yay, I'm glad you like the stamp, Cindy. Yeah, we've got just rain, rain, rain. Okay, sorry, I was trying to get my white. So this is the Casablanca from Elegant Glass. I'm going to do one of them on white just to show you guys that. Did everybody have a good New Year's Eve? Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that Caden got first place in um, his race. I don't know if you guys saw that, but um, so like backstory, we just like, he just got a new dirt bike, um, in September. He's rode dirt bikes his entire life. Um, but he's never really been to the racetrack before. And he had like, didn't show any interest. He was kind of a chicken. Um, he was kind of like a scaredy cat and he didn't want to go. He was afraid of the jumps anyways. Um, so the end of, end of the beginning of September, we, he asked to go to the dirt bike track. So of course we took him to the dirt bike track. He fell in love, um, with, with riding. He like absolutely loved it. Um, but then he's like, well, I need a new, um, you know, he needed a new bike because the bike that he had wasn't really built for the track. Like the, um, suspension and stuff on it just wasn't, wasn't as good. Um, and so we went out at the end of the end of September and, uh, got a, we got found a really good deal on a used, um, race bike. And so we got that for him. And so he got that on like September 23rd and it was like December 31st. And he took, so like literally three months and, um, he got first place. I could not believe it. And so, uh, the fact that he got first place out of like 14 kids was just crazy. But anyways, he also is third in points now, um, for the league that he is in. Oh my gosh. Look how pretty that color is. You guys, I linked this one. Um, it's called confess perfect Valentine's day color. You need a good Valentine's day color. That's your color. Let me pop that one up on here. Anyways, I'm like the worst at multitasking. Uh, I feel like I need somebody to narrate for me. Let me put this confess up here really quickly. Because that one is stunning. Look, did you guys see how pretty that was? It's perfect for Valentine's Day. Okay. I just wanted to get enough on here that we could play around with a couple of them. Anyway, so we have our next race is, I believe, 
um, coming up here soon. Oh my gosh, the new, the new um, CNS polishes are coming amazing. So those are in route. Um, they should be here. So if whoever ordered a um, December box, you guys are going to get a top coat, a base coat, and so you'll get two packages in January. Um, you guys are going to get your what you paid for in December. So you'll get the top, the base, and a color. And then you'll also get your January box. So you'll get six colors this month because you actually paid for um, the December ones. But, oh my gosh, they are coming along so good. Um, I can't wait. I have pictures, but I have teaser pictures, but I'm not going to post them yet. Um, they are already on their way. So they should be here um, within the next week. So I cannot wait. But I'm thinking like, I don't know. I feel like, um, yes, I will I will do that on yours, Geneva. I'll put it all in one box for you. Wait till you see the um, boxes that they're coming in. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. But I'm feeling like, um, I'm going to see how the subscription box goes. See what you guys think of that. But I'm thinking I might even just get more of them, like do more, like mini, do like some mini collections or something. I don't know. I'm just having fun with it. There's like so much going on. I, I wish I had, could just have like everything. <laughs> but you know, I have to take baby steps to remind myself to take baby steps. Okay. So let's start off with the white one. And I wanted to do the white one and I'm going to do... Um, the pink, should we just do all four of them on this one? So there's two different ways you can do it. Well, there's really unlimited ways you can do it, but I like to do two different ways. Get myself organized here. So you can... Look at that. That's the pink one. Uh, is that not amazing? So I'm not even going into a t no cleanse. I'm going right on top of... Can you see that? Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm going right on top of the white. And I'm using... Like, look how little I'm using. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Okay. We'll go in and get a little bit of the yellow. Get out the hay. Oh. And then we'll do a little cactus cuddler. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I missed a spot right here in the middle. What color should we put? Let's do this one. You get like, okay, using all four of them, you literally get the coolest effect ever. I wish you guys could almost want to turn off the light so you can see what it looks like without the light. Hold on. Look at it without the light. I almost feel like I should just leave the light off because look at that. What do you guys think? We haven't even top coated it yet. Oh my gosh, they're so stinging cute. Um, so on Vogue made a mistake on my order. Um, so I have a ton. Um, they thought that I wanted 18 of the Lacket no wipes, but I actually wanted 18 of the um Simply Shine top coats. 
Um, I have a salon, like a local salon here and they, I don't know what they go through so much of it. Like they literally order 18 of them at a time. Um, and so I, uh, accidentally, I guess somehow ordered 18 of the lacket, no wipes. So I did put those on a major deal. If anybody needs a lacket, um, top coat, I put those on sale for 11.95. Okay. Are you guys ready to see? When the light's off, you can really see the different colors. But white, I am loving it over top of white. Okay, wait till you see with the top coat. Have you guys seen anything like this? Or am I like under a rock? Because I feel like I have not ever seen anything like this. Not this exact thing. Like there's pigments that are similar to this, but not... Like, this is almost like a glitter, like a sparkle pigment. Is that not so cute? Oh, I can't even handle it. Okay, I'm going to cure it. Now, when we do it on top of other colors, it'll obviously be a little bit different. So, we have, this one is over top of charged. I was going to do... Um, buckle bunny. Yes, Tiff, you need one of each. Um, so I want to show you guys. So I just showed you how you can do it. Um, over top of just going right on the top of the color. Um, now I want to show you how you can do it over top of a no cleanse. So I'm going to, um, do polished. Cause sometimes we like to put our pigments right on top of a no cleanse. Um, so this will give you a different look. Okay. Oh my gosh. I cannot, I cannot with how cute this is. The names like they're just perfect for these colors too. Cactus Cuddler, Buckle Bunny. Get out the hay and punchy. Yes, it chromes also. I couldn't just like, I couldn't just like give you all the details right at once, Tiff. I have to like slowly ease you into it. I know, Geneva. I have an appointment. My nails are so bad. Um, I have an appointment at nine o'clock in the morning. I, I actually had an appointment on Tuesday at 11. Um, I had an appointment at 11 on, um, Tuesday and I canceled because I want, I'm going to have her put this on my nails and it wasn't here yet. So I am going to get my nails done, but they are so bad. They're so, so bad. It is not my nail tech's fault. Um, the price is um, per color. The price is per color. You can bundle if you get all four, if you get all four colors, um, you get a discount. And then tonight on the video, um, I'm giving a free fluffy brush with a four piece. If you buy the four pieces. When you put them, Cheryl, I didn't, I did not, um, wipe it off. I just put it right off. Like I just cured the white gel polish on this one. And then I put it right into the tacky layer of the gel polish. Um, and so I was able to get more of like a sparkle pigment look. Um, this one I put polished on. And I think my polish did something funky, but it's fine. Oh, look at this. Now I can just dabble it on or I can rub it in. So I can do either. Look at that. Okay. 
the chameleon on this though. Can you guys believe this? Like, I cannot believe this. Wait till you see this top coated. You're going to die. Look at how pretty that is. Did you see how easy that was also? And okay, so don't forget, we turn the light off too. So this is in like, this is just a natural lighting. Because I turned the light off. And that one was Buckle Bunny that we just used. So we just did Buckle Bunny over top of Charged. And then we're going to do, and I top coated it with um, the Lacket No Wipe. And then we're going to do also, um, so this one, I'm going to show you guys how you can kind of like layer them. Um, let me read your comments real quick. Uh, charged is EGN. Yes. I'll pop it on there for you. Miss Foxy, I popped it on there for you. Oh, how do you shop and watch? Um, yes, I will show the white again. I will show the white again. Um, I don't know how to shop and watch because I don't know what it looks like on your end. But um, I think you can um, click a button possibly. Okay, let's do get out the hay. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's like subtle. Okay, if you have a client that likes subtle um, but bling, look at that. That is like absolutely stunning. I only put it like right there in that little section you can see. Um, so this one is, again, this one I'm just putting right on top of the tacky. And so this one I did not put the top coat on it yet. I did not do a top coat. I'm doing it right on the tacky layer. Um, and then I'm going to do a little bit of cactus cuddler. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to see what you guys do with it. I am like so excited to see what you guys do with this. I will show it again on white also. Yes. Look at that. The green is like just trying to pop through. <laughs> So we have Cactus Cuddler over here on this side. You can see that's where it's really pulling that green. And then we have the bron like the get out the hay, the orange over here. And that one was over top of um, Confess. And then I'm going to do another white one. Um, do you guys want me to put a white, do a white one um, right on the tacky layer again? Or do you want me to put it over top of a no cleanse? How do you guys want to see that? And then also, um, I thought it would be fun to just see. I'm kind of curious what it looks like. Um, I want to see what it looks like with the Cordoza colors here. Just gonna do a really thin base coat of the purple. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, put that one here next to the white. And then 
Oh my gosh, I love this one too. So I'll turn the light on just so you guys can see. So this is what it looks like with the light on. I think I'm going to turn the light off. Um, no, no. If you get all four, you don't need to put the brush in the cart. I'll send you the brush. Okay, so I did the purple one. And then I think I'm going to do the purple cat eye. I love to just experiment. And then I did, um, I want to show you guys for reference. Um, so this is one of Miss Tracy Vincent's um, candy chromes. And this one is the northern, this is the polar lights. Um, so I just want to show you guys in, in comparison for, for a pigment flake. Um, this one's a flaky. So you can see all the big flake totally did. They're totally different. Um, I just wanted to grab that so you guys could see these are also super, super fun. Um, but they are a totally different, totally different, uh, animal. Okay. And then I'm taking the purple from, I'm going to pop my screen up a little bit here. Oh my gosh. It's so fun. I love being back on these. Like these are like our date nights. <laughs> We're back on date night. It's not Thursday though. It's okay. We're going on Wednesday tonight. We're having our nail night on, on Wednesday tonight. Okay. So I just did the purple over top of that and I'm going to get um, my BAM magnet, which I don't know if you guys saw um, that this is now available. Wow, that looks kind of cool. Um, this is now available as well. So I linked the BAM magnet. So if anybody needs, look how cool that looks. Sometimes I um, surprise myself. It gives it like this really cool, that looks really cool. So for anybody that you, that got the, um, look at that. I don't know if it's picking it up on video, but in person, that looks really cool. Um, it's almost like a prism. Uh, so I used the BAM magnet and then I also used the two purples from the so I used this and this from the uh, Cordoza Christmas box, which I'm loving those polishes, by the way. I hope you guys are loving them too. Yay, Geneva. I'm glad you loved your box. Yay, yay, yay. That makes me happy. Okay. Okay. I feel like we had another nail in here, but maybe we didn't. What color should we put on top of this one? Should we do any, tell me what, tell me which one you want to put on top of that one while I polish this one white. Pink, Geneva, question of the day. What is the pink called? Do you remember the name of the pink? Punchy. <laughs> you got it. Okay. I figured you Texas girls would love the names. I am so excited. We are going to Texas um, for KT's wedding in um, May. So I get to go to Texas. So excited. So, so excited. Uh, wait till you see the gel polishes names, Geneva. Wait until you see the gel polish. Do you guys want me to give you a teaser on the gel polish? The black, guess what the name of the black is? 
Okay, are you guys ready? So the black is called Smoke Show. And the white is called Ranch Dressin'. I hope you guys like them. I hope you get the, um, I hope you get it. Is that not the cutest? Okay, I have some other names. I'll, okay, some of the other names. I'm not going to tell you what colors they are. Um, but a couple of the other names are, um, there's Backwoods Barbie, which I loved that name. Um, so there's Backwoods Barbie. And um, there is, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, Boot Scoot and Sparkle. There's Boot Scoot and Sparkle, but it's spelled Boot and then Scoot. And then there's an apostrophe in, so it's Boot Scoot and Sparkle. Um, and then, oh my gosh, Tiff, remind me. I'm like drawing a blank at the names. Um, oh yeah, Boot Scoot and Sparkle. Yes, yes. Tiff helped with that one. I had to, um, Glorious Geneva. <laughs> yes, I need to, that is a good one. Glorious Geneva. I need, I will make one that's named that. My kids keep wanting to name something Frenchy Fry. Um so we'll see. Maybe we'll have a Frenchie fry. Yes, a blue red. Yes, that would be good. Oh my gosh. I we are having oh yes. And then we need a foxy foxy. Yes. Yes, we have all the names. You I'm gonna have to like reach out to you guys the more we get because I'm like I draw a blank when it comes to the names. I've had to reach out like to Nikki. I'm like, okay, help me for a second because I'm like overthinking this. And then I like, I, I think I just overthink them, but oh my gosh, naming things has been so fun. Like naming these was like so much fun. Okay. Did we decide what we're doing on this one? I don't think we ever did. Oh yeah, we did punchy. Yes. Yes. Nikki, Nikki helped me. Nikki referred me to a website. That's how we got cactus cuddler. <laughs> oh yes. That would be cute. Frenchy, Frenchy fry. Yes. Okay. We're doing punchy. And again, we're doing this right over top of, um, so I'm doing this right over top of, I'm not doing it on a Oh my lord. Look at that. I don't think it's picking it up in a video. In person. Oh my goodness. That is like that is like a sunset. That's like a desert sunset. Oh my gosh. That is like not even I wish you guys could see, like, it is literally like bright purple when I, can you see that in the video? Okay. I'm going for it, Geneva. I'm going to top coat it. Oh, oh my goodness. Can you guys see that? It is, I don't know if the video is picking up. It literally is bright purple. Can you see that? Like when I angle it? Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not going crazy because I'm like, it's literally like bright purple. Okay, this is so much fun. See, I find the cool product and then you guys have to help me. You guys have to walk me through, um, you know, ways to use it. We're a great team. We make a great team. Okay. So this one, I am going to top coat it before I put the colors on just so I can show you the difference that it will make. Okay. Okay. Do we want to do it over another color too? Yes. 
You want to see it, Matt. Okay, how do you like the app, Nikki? Do you like the app better or do you like the website better or the Facebook page better? Okay, tell me what else you guys want to see. What other color you want to see? I've got white in the cooker. I've got blue bananas. The video is better on the app. And then I've got, so I've got this blue. We could put something over if you want. Or we have, um, we already did confess. We already did charged. I haven't shown you guys grasshopper. If you want to see over top of grasshopper, we can. Let me, um, yay. Okay, good. I'm glad that you guys are finding your way to the app. Someone's at my front door. It says, okay, I got the matte top coat. Hold on a second. I have a knock at my front door. Sorry, I'm back. It was I it was Trinity that was getting home. Sorry. Are you guys still there? Okay. I got the matte top coat. I got the so gels, so velvety matte top coat. Okay, so now we're going to make it matte. Okay. I had to show you all the angles. And now we're going to matte top coat it. I'm going to have to go figure out what's going on with Miss Trinity because she was supposed to be at basketball practice and apparently something happened because I was supposed to go pick her up at eight o'clock and I don't know what happened. Ooh, that would be really pretty. Okay. So I got this one. I got this white one pulled out. I could try to do that and see. Let me try. Should I dip it or do it with a brush? Help. Help. I need some assistance. Uh, okay. I think I'm going to... Mm. I don't think I can get it. I don't think I could do it that. That looks cool though. It does look really cool. You get a different look when it's... Um, So this one, we have the top coat on there. And I don't even, so this one is, let me, let me mattify this one or not mattify it, but um, chrome it out because look what it does when you chrome it. And then I'm going to do another top coat. Oh my goodness. I'm going to stamp on top of this one. We're going to stamp this one. That is the coolest color ever. I am very impressed with that color. That is very cool. I did not think it would look like that. Uh, okay. Somebody gave me... The... I know, but it doesn't rub in like Tiff, you'll have to see what I mean. See how it like rubs in, but I kind of like it not rubbed into a top coat. Let me, let me top coat this and show you. So this is rubbed into a, so this one's rubbed into a no cleanse, which looks good, 
but I really prefer it just pressed right into a, see the difference? I mean, I did wait a while here, so that could be why, but I kind of like this where you put it right on top of the white myself. Um, I feel like it gets a little bit more sparkle, but I'm excited to see what you guys do. I like, yeah, I think I like it into the tacky layer. I'm kind of liking that, but I'm going to try, I, I'm going to try it now that I, um, Yeah, it's still really pretty. I think I waited a little bit too long to cure it. Look at that. That's just doing two coats. So I did two layers of it. Okay, that looks kind of cool. Now what should I do? Should I matte top coat this one also? I'm going to try matte top coating this. I am having way too much fun tonight with this. Okay, we got to stamp a little too. But I only have, um, I only grabbed white stamping polish. The white icicles. Um, Tiff, where do I get white icicles at? Are they on my stamping plate? Please tell me they're on my stamping plate. No, I don't see any white snowflake. I don't see any on there. Okay, I'm going to cover these up real quick because I don't want to get distracted and dump them. But this one is the get out the hay. Okay, if you guys use them, you have to tag me. I'm dying to see these in action with like stuff that you guys create. Um, also... Look at the lids, you guys. They have magnetic lids. Look how cute those are. What do you think of the lids? I can't tell what's what. I think this one goes here. Yeah. Okay, are these lids not the coolest? Look at that. Oh, they're magnifying glass lids. I thought that was like the coolest thing ever. I was like, magnifying glass lid. Yes, please. Because look at that. It just illuminates it and it makes it look so pretty. And then we have, okay, so this one is Cactus Cuddler, Punchy, Buckle Bunny, and Get Out the Hay. Okay, now we're going to stamp. Now we're going to uh, attempt to stamp. Let me find my... Um... Okay, hold on. Let me pop through these ones real quick so I can find the stamper for you guys. Okay, putting the stamping plate up. So this stamping plate can be used year round. So this, there are obviously like the majority of things on here are um, Christmas related, but this is not Christmas related. This one says bomb ass nail artist with a little Cordoza cowboy. And then you've got the little Cordoza cowboy. And then you have um, this little smiley bomb ass nail artist. So there are some, and then there's like the stars. I feel like you could use those um, year round. And then like the coffee you could probably use that year round. Um, Obviously, there are some things like the polish bottle. You could use that year round. Um, this stuff is still cute. I'd probably still wear this year round, even though it is Christmas technically. But so many cute stamping things on here. And then um, I'm going to use my little Squishmallow stamping plate. So I'm just going to clean it before I stamp away here. Um, what sh should we do the, um, all over pattern? Okay. I'll put the ball mass nail artist. I'll do that one. 
I'm doing that one. I got to get to where um, I'm in frame, though. Okay. I got it. Scrape it. I probably didn't scrape it enough. Picked it up. Okay. Now I'm going to take my candle off. Oh, shoot. Don't mind me. It's probably not even going to transfer now. Oh, my goodness. Look how cute it is. I did, me I did mess up the... Um, the naughty word a little bit. Look how cute it is though. Isn't it fun how it like it literally transfers that out. So it's an outline. That's like the font of it. I don't know if you guys can tell, um, but it's outlined. And so it picks up the entire image exactly how it's supposed to pick it up and do it, which is crazy to me that it, it does that. Like it, it literally works so stinking good. Um, I'm going to take that one off because I want to do, I think I'm going to do the cowboy one. So I'm going to just spray my spray on here. Let me go over to this side. Oh my gosh. It's, I'm so excited. We get to play and do nails. Um, and the video's clear. It's an exciting day. <laughs> I'm trying to work on, um, so we obviously we're not finished up yet with the shop. Um, so I'm temporarily upstairs, which is where my office and recording studio and like, I don't know, whatever else I find to put up here will go classroom. Um, but this is where we're going to have our wine nights, like our, um, oh my gosh, that's so funny. I was just going to talk about that, Tiff. Um, <laughs> So we're going to do that up here in the loft. And so I'm hoping to do that in February. I'm hoping we can do the first one in February because it's going to be fun. And then I was thinking, do we do it in the evening or do we do it in the morning and do it like coffee? I don't know. Look how pretty that is. Okay. So I'm going to come back in and stamp my... um my little, yes, it's definitely a tiff thing. I'm going to stamp the little cowboy. And I am not great at this, just FYI. Oh, shoot. Let me get my other design off here. And my Okay, here we go. Look how cute he is. Oh my gosh, he's that's so cute. Oh, I've got another child coming up here. Oh, yeah, I actually had a question. What? Whichever he wants. What do you want? Then do the Chick-fil-A thing. Then ask dad to get pizza. Then get the Chick-fil-A thing. Dad's not going to want that. Though. Well, if dad's at Costco, I'll take a new pan. He's not at Costco. Oh. He said he was going to go to Costco and get the pizza if you wanted it. Oh. Whichever you want. I can't eat pizza, so it doesn't matter to me. Apparently, um... Apparently, Chris is uh, picking up Costco for dinner. Costco pizza. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, Tiff. I was thinking if we do morning, um, if we do morning, then we could do uh, like all day long. We could have coffee and then have wine in the afternoon. Okay, that is... How cute. What do you guys think of the little cowboy? 
I think he turned out cute. And then this is my little squisher stamper. And we, I named it the Squishmallow. Tr Trinity. Trinity is, um, she's obsessed with Squishmallows. Um, and so I, th I, but I thought it was like that perfect name for it because it's so squishy. This is like literally the best one. I love this one. And then it's got the opening in the back, which is really nice. So I will link that little Squishmallow stamper for you guys. Um, these are $9.95. Does anyone else want to see anything? Is there any other colors I can show you? I'm like so excited to see what you guys do with these. There's our matte one. I think we might have another, did I do that other white one? Oh yeah, here it is. <gasps> Look at it, matte. Ooh, that is really pretty. I bet this would be really pretty with alcohol inks on it. Or what if we try, um, did Kelsey get home Trinity? So what happened with practice? What? Okay. So now we're going to take, and we're going to do, know, tell dad I'll take sushi. I don't want a hot dog. I don't like Costco hot dogs. What do you guys, what it, I have a dairy allergy. What do you guys get at Costco? They're getting Costco pizza for dinner. I obviously cannot have Costco pizza. No, because it's my skin that breaks out, not my, it's not my stomach. Okay, I'm just playing around here with the polish colors from the box. Mom. What? She said her phone was broken, so she had a minor text. Practice was four to six, and the, no, the workout was four to six, and practice was six to eight. And then Allison said, and then they were talking, and I didn't understand what they were saying. And then they said, and then Allison goes, well, we changed practice, and then I could have made it, and now we, I can't make it, so I can't go. And then I didn't get it, and I said, well, is it right now at, like, 4.35? Yeah. Is it right now, or is it at 16? She goes, oh, it's right now. You're late, so, yeah. And then I was like, well, I can't. Huh. And I wanted to Kelsey didn't go? No. She told us at, like, 10 minutes before 4 that practice was at... Ooh, look how pretty this is. Um, you can redeem your sparkle points. Yes, Cindy. Sorry, I was I was uh, focusing here on. I was focusing on my magnet. Look how pretty that is. So I have. I'm kind of curious. That's two of the colors from the, but I'm curious what this will look like if we, I'm going to cure that for a second. I'm going to try something. Okay. Um, it'll, Cindy, it'll get, when you redeem your sparkle points, it'll give you a coupon code. Just message me if you have a hard time um, doing it, but. If you go to your Sparkle Points and log in, um, it will give you a discount code that you can redeem it. I don't know how personally how it looks on your end, but I know a lot of people do it. So I think it should be pretty easy. 
And I think you can just copy and paste and it'll do it. Look how pretty that is. So these are two of the colors from the uh, the Christmas box. And then I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do ca Cactus Cuddler. Thank you, Tiff. It, she said it sends you a code. And then I'm going to go right down the middle. That is really pretty. That really shows off the effect because look at this. I cannot believe how pretty that is. Look, look at the green. Can you, it looks like it's glowing under there. Look at that. Can you see it trend? Does it look like it's glowing? Guess. What do you mean you guess? Oh, no. See the green right here? Mm -hmm. Looks like my highlighter. It looks like her highlighter. That I highlight my whole page. Okay, well, let's top coat this. I wish I could do, if I could do one stroke. Um, those were, Cheryl, you have both of those. Those were the two cat eye gels and the number two and number four. And then um, it had. Then I did um, cactus cuddler on top. And don't forget to grab your lacquer top coat um, while they're on sale. If you need a lacquer top coat, look how pretty that is. So these are on sale for eleven ninety five, and I will pop that back up on the screen for you guys. Oh, I forgot to put up the white sticky polish I used. Where did the? Okay, popped up the lacquer for you guys. So Tiff, that's what you're teaching at nail night or at the nail day in February sometime. So which color should I have Chippy do on my nails tomorrow? No, I'm going to get my nails done at the salon. Because look how I think that was like the perfect base for something. I bet you could even do like foil on it. And it would look super cool. These would also be really pretty bases for like alcohol ink, I bet, too. I should practice and um, do a little video with like the alcohol inks because I think that would be fun. Any metallic glaze? Um, I have, Geneva, I have the red carpet boxed series and the metallic glaze is in there, but I don't have any of it on, um, on, on the own. Um, it was just, um, underneath of it, it was just the white. I just did white underneath of it and then uh, um, a little bit of the um, chromes over here or pigments, sparkle pigments. I'm calling them sparkle pigments. Do you think that's a good fitting name for them? I thought sparkle, sparkle pigments, sparkle pigments were, was a good name for them because they definitely look like sparkle pigments to me.
Okay, I am going to let you guys go. Um, I think I showed you guys everything, but I will be back tomorrow night. I will, um, I think I'll get out some alcohol inks and I'll maybe um, do a couple nails. Um, and then, because I'm actually really good at alcohol inks, believe it or not. I am not great at like freehanding anything. Um, but any type of like abstract art, I'm really good at that. So I think I will show you guys some alcohol inks tomorrow night, um, using, um, these pigments and, um, some of the Christmas colors from the gel polish collection. So anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow night and, um, don't forget if you get the four piece, um, of the pigments, you do get a free brush tonight. And then I am also doing a free gift um, with order tonight as well. So if you order um, tonight on the app, then you get a free gift as well. So I hope you guys have a fabulous night. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, and then if you guys don't mind um, sharing about these new products, if you get them, um, tag me. I would love to see what you guys create. And... Um, I'm excited about these. So I'm excited for you guys to get your jars and see what you think of them. I know it's always hard to see it in a video. It doesn't, it doesn't do it any justice. So I'm curious to see what you guys think of them when you get them. But anyways, love you all. Bye.